things, let's go. That's it. Love you guys. Let's go. Gang on me, gang on three. One, two, three. Gang. The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea. With a rollicking song, he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather beaten. He wears a hooded sash with a silver hat about his head and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold. And the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. Las Vegas Raiders quarterback Jared Stenham is just the second quarterback in NFL history to throw for over 350 yards and three touchdowns in his debut. He's also the second quarterback behind Patrick Mahomes to throw for over 300 yards and three touchdowns against the San Francisco 49ers' number one defense this year. The lazy ones will say that's just one game, and once the NFL gets tape on him, it's all over. Not really. His skill set can't really be stopped. How do you game plan for him? Pressure him and he can scramble and throw on the run. Keep him in the pocket and he'll pick you apart. Force him to his left and he can still throw. Collegiate scouting reports had him as a first round prospect in 2017 before he took a step back in 2018 with a bad offensive line and receivers. So McDaniels then with the New England Patriots saw a diamond he can polish and the Patriots drafted him in round 4 in 2019 to develop behind Tom Brady. But injury slowed his development over his three years there. Then McDaniels came to Las Vegas this year and traded for him and Sunday, he showed he has the talent to be the guy. We start with the bad. The curse that comes with having a big arm is sometimes the ball sails on you. And I like the fact that he's willing to take that shot waiting for his receiver to break open, but sometimes he waits too long. That was probably his worst play of the game and it didn't get intercepted. But this one did and it really wasn't his fault. Sometimes that's just the way the ball bounces. And I'm definitely not going to blame him for this one where left tackle Colt Miller got drove back into him. I didn't blame former Raiders quarterback Derek Carr for throwing an interception similar to that so I'm not going to blame him for that now. Now let's look at Carr's interception. It was the same thing except for his left guard Dylan Parham that got drove back into him. Now we go to the good. Stidham has a big arm. Quarterback guru Jordan Palmer said Stidham's arm talent is among the best in the league. And at his camps, he puts computer chips in his football to read spin rate, velocity, and spiral. That being said, he is going to leave this goal ball a little bit short to Devontae Adams, but he does give him a chance to catch it, and he does. How you throw that goal ball isn't the only way to measure arm strength, though. It's also velocity and how far you can throw a football in a straight line. When he was at Auburn, he was seen throwing a ball 50 yards on a straight line. So routes that break at 20 yards are easy work. That shot right there went 25 yards past the line of scrimmage. Now watch this shot right here to tight end Darren Waller. That might have went 30 yards past the line of scrimmage and Waller didn't have to jump up and get it. Stidham's accuracy is there too. On short passes, he'll give you something you can run with after the catch. He throws a beautiful back shoulder fade. Adams couldn't quite come up with that one though. But watch this fade to Adams in the red zone. You can't tell me that wasn't a dime. And you gotta love this one behind the corner and in front of the safety. Here's gonna take advantage of the size matchup with the tight end Foster Moreau.
And probably my favorite trait is he can take a shot without losing his arm or accuracy. Alright, here he's running left. And now we see this guy coming to nail him, but instead of getting rid of the ball quickly, he waits for receiver Devontae Adams to break open and gets rid of it at the last instant and takes a hit. That's 25 yards on a line while getting crushed. What a play. That's one trait Al Davis would have loved, waiting for those receivers to get open deep and the ability to finish it with a good throw. Alright, guard Alex Vars is beaten here. But he's still gonna give Waller a chance to catch this one between defenders. I really wish Waller would have got that. He was gonna show that ability again. Bars is beat again, but Stenhams is gonna wait for Mac Hollins to come into that window and throw the ball. And he's gonna take a shot. That's 20 yards past the line of scrimmage on the line. So Stenham can take shots without losing his arm and accuracy. And he can get on the run without losing his arm and accuracy. Here's a nice little design rollout to get him out of the pocket. And make no mistake, he can go down the field with it too. Here he is out of the pocket and that radar is still there. Target acquired, Miss Waller. And here he is showing his mobility off script. And he's going to his left and you see it's not a problem. So if you try to game plan for him to go that way, it's not going to work out for you. Now this one is gritty. He's going to break a tackle then finish the throw through contact. Those are the kinds of plays that energize the team and the fan base. And if you think you're just going to drop everybody, think again, because he will take off on you. Alright, he slid on that one. But that doesn't mean he's always going to slide, particularly if there's a first down to get. And especially near the goal line. He doesn't get the touchdown here, but he sure did go for his. Oh, we talked about plays to energize your teammates and fan base. Watch this. All right, Stidham, slide, go down. That's a linebacker coming at you. He doesn't care nothing about that. He's going to take that linebacker on, and he stays up. Stidham kind of came out of nowhere to most of us, but McDaniels, he liked what he saw out of him when he was at Auburn, and he had a plan of developing him behind Brady, but that was derailed by injuries. So when he left New England, he traded to bring Stidham with him, and when Stidham got his chance, he showed what a talent he really is, and the way he's playing is sustainable because no matter what you do, he can make a play. If you pressure him, he can make a play. If you keep him in the pocket, he can make a play. And if you make him run to his left, he can still make a play. Stidham can definitely be that guy. Now I'm mad McDaniels didn't put him in earlier. Thank you for watching. See you next time.